Hey internet, so today I thought we would go and snoop around in my fridge because the contents are pretty typical of all of the staples that I try and keep on hand. I'm going for a trip in a couple of days, but before that I kind of have been thoughtful about having foods um, for certain of my favorite staple meals ready to go as I kind of have a lot to do and am packing for this business trip. So I thought it would be fun to show you all of those kind of good staple items that I try and have at all times as well as how I organize my fridge. It's kind of basic, I know, but definitely one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube because what to eat is so incredibly interesting and controversial that it's just always really, really interesting to see kind of what other people keep on hand um, because all of those kind of staple ingredients and all of those sauces and condiments vary so widely from person to person. Um, just in terms of qualifying this video, I guess I would say I eat healthy but not 100% clean. So you guys will be seeing some mayo in this fridge and if you cannot handle the sight of mayonnaise, then I recommend you stop watching this video now because it will be there. Because I am Belgian and I cannot live without a little bit of mayo. And then other than that, I do keep a lot of fresh ingredients like fruits and veggies. So I'm kind of, I'm somewhere in the middle in terms of healthiness, you guys. It's like I really try and make things from scratch as much as possible. I don't eat anything processed or full of artificial ingredients. That said, when I'm cooking, my first and foremost priority is always to make delicious food first of all and then I find that from that um, kind of healthiness follows because I'm doing it myself and I know what's going into my food. So with that said, let's go over to the kitchen and take a peek. So here is the front of the fridge. You can see I stuck on a photo from New Year's, which I think it's really fun to decorate it. For me, it's actually quite a novelty to have a fridge I can put things on because of the over the years I've had quite a lot of non-magnetic fridges. So you can see I have my media pass and an Instagram photo from Vancouver Fashion Week, as well as a photo of a dolphin that I went swimming with. So that's the front. What we really want to see is the inside, right? So so let's open it up and take a sneak peek. The first shelf of the door of the fridge, right away you guys get to know me intimately, which is my love of cheese. I have cheese at all times. I do not subscribe to the idea that it's unhealthy. I actually think it is a really great filling high calcium snack um, and not to mention it's delicious. Um, I cannot tell you when I was doing my legal training how many times I had cheese and fruit and like a cheese board for dinner. There's some parmesan cheese in the brown paper and then right next to it you have some gouda and on its left you have halloumi. I actually don't like halloumi but my boyfriend really does so there's some for him there. On the right hand side from left to right you have goat cheese, brie, another thing of parmesan, and another thing of brie, but it's a different type of brie. Um, both of those are Canadian cheeses. Um, the one on the left hand side is the Comox brie, which is actually really good and relatively cheap for cheese in Canada. And on the left hand side you can see I unbox my eggs and put them in that rack, which is really really useful because then I can see how many eggs I have. Um, eggs are just such an awesome thing to have on hand. They are good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then to the left hand side of the eggs I have a knob of ginger. I always keep ginger on hand in case I get sick. I'll want ginger tea and I also put ginger in all of my stir fries and Asian food that I make. Maple syrup, which is my favorite sweetener. I have some clotted cream. I have yeast for homemade waffles and the Better Than Bouillon um, organic vegetable stock, which is great for adding to stews. Um, that is my favorite brand of pre-prepared stock to use. I usually try and make my own stock, but you know, girl's human and sometimes that doesn't happen and then I use that. So going clockwise from left to right in the bottom two shelves, I have Dijon mustard, grainy mustard, oyster sauce, mayo, I'm obsessed. It goes on salad and potatoes mainly, but it's good in everything. Then I have aioli, garlic aioli from Trader Joe's. Delicious. I have some Korean chili paste um, for stir fries, some capers, horseradish, peppercorns, cornichon, and then I have some tonic, which is actually for my mom because she really likes gin and tonics, so I keep that on hand for her. Not my favorite drink, but she likes it. I love making martinis when I have guests, so I try and always have that on hand as well as a bottle of vodka in the freezer for those of you who may be of drinking age. 
Um, then I have a bottle of water, which is for running and that sort of thing. I have fish sauce. Then randomly I have a current liqueur, which is to make kir cocktails. As you guys can see, I can I like to entertain a lot, so I try to keep things for making cocktails on hand. Then I have some reduced sodium soy sauce, also from Trader Joe's. And then right there in the little corner is my favorite brand of milk and cream. That is from Avalon. They make amazing milk and cream. If you've never had the milk and cream out of the glass jars, I highly recommend it. I think it is life-changing. It just tastes so much better. I definitely am not able to carry that home all the time, but whenever I have the opportunity to buy it, I definitely do, and I can taste the difference. So that is everything in the door of my fridge, and let's take a look at the inside. So on the top two shelves over here, we have all jams and condiments and coffee. I keep my coffee in the fridge because I find that is what keeps it tasting freshest because I don't go through it that fast. Um, and then I have herbs, salad, butter, and nuts behind it. So peanut butter, this is the 100% um, peanut, nothing added craft one. And even though it's from a really cheap brand, I think it's delicious and it doesn't have any bad ingredients. It's just peanuts and salt and that's it. Um, and behind that I have some jam from Hawaii. This is passion fruit butter, it is delicious. Behind that you can see I have two jars of ginger almonds from Whole Foods, unbelievably delicious delicious. I highly recommend those. And then tucked at the back and sort of unloved is almond butter because despite trying to be good with almond butter, peanut butter is still my favorite. And then I have a little bag of fresh rosemary here. I have some green onions and some arugula, which is awesome to add to pasta dishes or for a quick salad. It's a really great staple to have in your fridge because you can serve it both raw and also wilted. So I try and have either this or fresh spinach in my fridge at all times. Nuts are always kept in the fridge in my home because I find they go rancid so easily. So I have peanuts, pecans, and walnuts. And then in this cute little um, whale butter dish I have some salted butter which is my favorite I love butter in everything again I think it's delicious and really good for you in small in small amounts it is a great thing to add to your food because it adds so much flavor and actually isn't really bad for you compared to what everyone says um, then I have some fresh celery and carrots. I tend to take this out of the bag and then put the bag underneath. I find that that's what keeps it freshest. I have some pre-wrapped zucchini, which I use for my zucchini stir-fry. There's a full recipe up on my blog for this. You guys must try it. The stir-fry recipe is such an easy, healthy recipe, and you can basically always have the things for it on hand, and they keep for a long time. So these zucchinis are from an Asian grocery store, and they stay fresh really long in this packaging, so I tend to just leave it. Um, and it will keep for a couple of days and be fine. Behind that I have a spaghetti squash. I always have some kind of squash in my fridge because it makes great um, a, a great side dish or great soup. Um, often that squash will be butternut squash or acorn squash because those make great sauces or soups. Spaghetti squash is a great base um, for any kind of pasta sauce or um, dishes like that. So I really like having that in the fridge. Again, it keeps a really long time, so that's useful. Tomatoes for salads or adding to pasta sauces. Those are just great to have. Sometimes I even have them as a snack. I know that's weird, but it's delicious. Or in a sandwich. And then I have some shiitake mushrooms at the back. Shiitake mushrooms at normal grocery stores are really expensive when they're fresh, but if you go to an Asian grocery store and you can find one that's good, um, they're really inexpensive and so full of flavor. And then in the bottom three shelves of my fridge, I have some shredded cabbage, which sounds yucky to add cabbage to your food, but I like it in stir fries. I find it gives a really great crunch. You don't overcook it, it doesn't have that yucky sulfuric flavor. And then I have some Parmesan cheese that's already cubed up. I got this from Whole Foods. Um, it's really great as a snack. I always have Parmesan cheese to top food, to eat as a snack. It's like a favorite of mine. I have some leftover pasta here. So this shelf is basically um, kept for pre-prepared foods or things that I've already chopped up. That way I know exactly what I have in terms of leftovers that needs to be eaten. And definitely I have normally more than this in terms of food from the weekend to go through the week in terms of lunches. But because I'm going away, I don't have a lot right now. 
And then on the bottom shelf, I have Cuties Little Mandarin Oranges. Definitely a favorite snack of mine. These are so great to take with you to the office. Fresh blueberries to have with some granola for breakfast. And then I have all of my Asian sauces. And so I have some chili garlic sauce here. I have ghee, which you need to keep in the fridge because otherwise it goes rancid. This is great to fry chicken in or just kind of keep your meat really, really moist and delicious. Then I have some organic miso paste. Again, really great for soups or stir fries that have an Asian flavor. I have tamarind, which is for making pad thai. You guys should let me know if you want to see my pad thai recipe because I finally figured out how to make that. And behind that, I have a jar of tahini and a tub of red curry paste. Again, really great for Asian food, which I've definitely been on a kick to make recently. In here, I have some more fruit and veggies. So I always have lemons for lemon water, some apples, usually for juicing. I don't have a ton for juicing right now, again, because I'm going away. Normally, I would have a lot more carrots and apples. Chris has been really into making Thai curry paste from scratch, so we have some lemongrass left over from a dinner party where we did that, and it was delicious. Then I have, other than my lemon, I have these little mangoes. These are the Mexican little mangoes. They are so delicious and sweet. And those are so good as a snack or for breakfast or with yogurt or in anything basically when and then right here I have a tray of thinly cut ribeye for stir fries I try to always have some kind of protein in this drawer whether it be some organic chicken breast that's vacuum sealed I find that keeps really well and then underneath that I will often have a pack of bacon from the farmers market I really like that thick cut um, kind of bacon from those cheese places that you ask them to slice for you and I'll have a couple of slices on that on hand at all times. I try and keep ingredients that are convertible so for example I could do the bacon with breakfast but I could also do a quick carbonara with the arugula and some eggs, some white wine and um, shallots and uh, pancetta or bacon. Just let me know if there's any particular recipes that you guys would like to see on the blog. I've been on a real kick of doing a lot of recipes on lflorence.com because I love to cook and I find that doing blog recipes is much easier and prettier to look at than filming so I've been doing that a lot lately. Let me know any requests that you guys may have in the comments below. If you like this video let me know by giving it a like. Also let me know anything that you have to have in your fridge at all times because I would love to snoop into your fridge through the medium of my comments. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!